like whiskey myself because I don't like sleeping with ugly women. That's, ah, uh, yeah. I'm not even saying I've ever done that. But I've heard it from my roommate like a thousand times. He's like, I woke up with an ugly woman. Yeah, that's because you're living your life wrong, dude. You need to reach for enlightenment. Stop swimming in sin. You're plucking low-hanging fruit from the devil's tree. What the, did you eat mushrooms last night? That is unimportant, you fire-breathing pumpkin. You understand me, huh? You interrogate me again, man. I will jack a lantern your jaw. I'll cut you, right? I will pop your top, seed you, and make a pie. That sounds delicious anyway, right? Open you up, put a Jesus candle in you, and you'll feel all the naughty things you did last night. Huh? You want that? What are you saying? I'm saying you were asking for it, dude, before you rudely interrupted me, great pumpkin. Right? I watched the whole thing go down from the corner of the bar till it really started soaring, right? You dumping fireball shots into that woman's face all night long, one right after another. Then you come blasting through our door all rowdy at like 260, 265 in the morning, right? Knocking into stuff, right? You broke two lamps. Two lamps, dude, you broke two lamps, right? I don't need a judge and a jury to convict here, Sleepy Hollow. Bam, you're guilty. Hit the shower, get to work. If you don't have to work, why don't you give me a ride to Village Inn? It's free pie day and staring at your face is making me want a slice. Huh? Right? And look, I'm saying do what makes you happy. Be you. The best you you can be, right? But if you don't want to fess up to the dirty things you do when you drink, make rules for yourself. Right? Just be like, all right, we'll go to super psychedelic sexy town, but sweetie, you need to be gone by daylight. Just do that. Just be gone by daylight. And don't forget your slippers, Cinderella, because I'm not looking for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't come knocking at my door come daybreak. Where's my shoe? It's at the thrift store. Now chug it on down the road, uggo. Huh? Daddy don't drink whiskey during the day, right? Sounds mean, but that's a lot better than waking up next to him, right? Well, come on, be honest. Like, you're coming out of a blackout to begin with anyway, which is weird, because when you come out of a blackout, like that first breath is like you've been underwater for 12 hours. You ever notice how we just go, I'm alive! Oh, wow! Where are my clothes? I hope I'm not in Mexico. Like, so you do that. And then you're gonna roll to the left and there's a surprise guest there and they look like sloth from Goonies, right? So there's a chance you go, oh God, I'm like, ah! That's gonna startle her. She becomes animated. The arms start moving, the eyes flutter open, right? You panic, what do I do, what do I do? Grab a lamp, bash her in the face, right? Yeah, you should have been a mature person and made rules, but you didn't. Now you gotta be a jerk about it, bash her in the face. She's down, right? Grab her by the ankle, drag her next door, put her in your roommate's bed, huh? He's like, what's going on? Another lamp, bash, he's down. Then you go back to your bed, pass out. 30 minutes later, you wake up like, what a weird dream. By the time they both get up, you got a bowl of oatmeal, you're watching Plinko on The Price is Right, flawless victory.